When you bend your will on 90 degrees, there's no cracking of the skin, there's no cracking sound, your willow feels nice and leathery, then you're done. Hi, my name is Hannah van Aalst. I'm an artist and a basket maker and I've taught hundreds of people how to make baskets from Willow. I've been getting an awful lot of questions from people who want to know, uh, why do you even soak your Willow? And Hannah, how do you know when your Willow is ready? Well, there's one little trick I want to show you. It's called a 90 degree bend. It is basically, you bend your Willow 90 degrees. There's no cracking of the skin. There's no cracking sound. Your willow feels nice and leathery, then you're done. Let's have a look at the step-by-step -step process I went through. And I'll show you each day how the willow progresses. So this is my soaking tank. As you can see, there's still willow in there, some bigger sticks that um, I have to leave in for another few days. It's, I have a three foot bundle here. It needs to be submerged fully for three days. back tomorrow and have a look at it. So I'm going to do the 90 degree bend test. So I'm bending it and I'm actually kinking the willow, usually at the thicker end, uh, 90 degrees or more. Um, and I don't know, can you hear that? But there's a little snap happening and um, the skin is torn there as well. So the skin is now bending and there's a little bit of um, a cracking sound when you bend at 90 degrees, which means that there's still fibers inside uh, there that are breaking. Uh, so clearly it's not ready yet. any resistance there's a tiny bit of cracking in the skin it's very really not visible there isn't any cracking really I'm going to give it one more day okay so day four of soaking the willow the willow has been in the water for three days. I'm going to have a look. So Widow has been in the water for three full days. I'm going to do the 90 degree test again. <clears throat> I'm going to bend at 90 degrees. And you can see there's no resistance in the Widow. There's no cracks in the skin anymore. There's no cracking that you can hear so um, it feels kind of leathery and soft and this is perfect now I'm happy with this it, it no longer needs to be soaked so what I'll do with this now is I'm going to um, take it out of the water wrap it into an old sheet and let it stand for another day just to mellow out maybe two days before I can actually work it to even um, get the skin even softer. But then there's a question, why do you even soak willow? Why not use it fresh when it's just there everywhere around us and it's ready and it's flexible? Why does it need to be dried out and then soaked again? It just complicates the process. 
Well, there's one major issue with fresh willow. Willow has a very high water content, so when it dries out, it's going to shrink a lot. When you make a basket from fresh willow and it's going to eventually dry out, it's going to be loose. Now, it won't fall apart and it's fine for practice, but it's in general, I would not recommend working with fresh willow. You can use semi-dry willow. It's willow that has kind of little wrinkles on the skin. It's been dried out maybe for a month or two. Um, there has been a little bit of shrinking going on. It is still going to shrink more and it still um, might, there's, there might still be a chance of your basket being so that's why we let willow dry out completely before using it again. Now it is very easy to make willow flexible again. You just put it into the water, fully submerged, and um, it nearly becomes as flexible again as when fresh willow. So the rule is the willow needs to be in the water one day per foot or 30 centimeters in length. So let's say a four foot bundle would be in the water fully submerged for four days. A five foot bundle would be in the water for five days and so on and so on. Now that's a rule. Of course there's going to be exceptions. Some varieties need more soaking. Also the temperature of your water will um, define whether you might take it out earlier or have to leave it in a few extra days. Um, in summertime when the water is warmer it's going to go faster. In winter time, when your water is cold, it might take a little bit longer. Especially if you're in a very, very cold climate, the willow won't soak in water that is very close to freezing. You might, at that, at that point, you might have to look at maybe heating your water up a little. For soaking willow, I use my soaking tank, but you could do anything or anything you have around. A stream would be fine, a watering trough would be fine, know an old boat would be fine um, you can buy soaking bags as well and um, they're available on the market they're fine as long as the water the willow is fully submerged in the water it's perfectly fine do be aware that willow floats so you'll have to push it down with a weight or whatever I use timber and stones but I'm sure you'll find a very clever way to do that yourself how to keep your willow when it's soaked and ready, really, you use it as quickly as possible. That's why you only soak as much willow as you know you'll be able to use. Now, there you can probably, if you mind the willow, you can probably keep it for about a week um, and not let it dry out. Um, keep it somewhere where it's damp, maybe wrap it in a, an old towel or cloth just to stop it from drying out too quickly. Be careful, however, to not let your willow dry out completely again because then it is waste. It cannot be re-soaked again. It will never get its flexibility back. Also, the bark has a tendency to just become brittle and bad. You can over-soak your willow, so be careful. If you over-soak it, your bark is going to come off and become slimy and yucky. It's not nice. So only soak as much as you think you'll need. And that is one of the hardest things in basket making. You'll be soaking different lengths, probably, for the same basket. So uh, the longer bundles have to go in earlier. Be patient. This is a very steep learning curve and it cannot be rushed. I also usually steam my willow. I have another video about steaming and I'll link it up somewhere in this video. Um, Steaming has the added advantage to make your willow extra pliable so, and it also keeps longer once it's steamed, it doesn't dry out as quickly. But it's not a necessary step, it only makes life so much easier when you're making and soaking big quantities. This is it, I hope this video has made the soaking process a little bit clearer for you now. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to be notified every time I post a new video, just click on the little subscribe button and the bell designed beside it so you'll get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you want to know how to make a willow basket step by step, I have actually made a free online class 
you can click on the link below the video to get access to it. So goodbye for now. And remember, you can do this too. You'll get better by practicing. You just have to do it.